Well, here's something the whole family can enjoy this holiday season. The Walton's Homecoming, a holiday special, is coming to the CW, and a very familiar voice will play narrator on the movie. Richard Thomas joining us now, who originally played John Boy Walton uh, in the original series. So thank you for being here, and what's it like to revisit this role again? Well, it's wonderful. Then thank you for having me and thanks for your interest in the in the picture. It's great. You know, they they called me and said, "Well, we're going to we're going to make the homecoming again." And I thought, "Really so soon? <laughs> Only 50 years later?" Uh, and then when they invited me to be a part of it and be the narrator and and do a little introduction and sort of passing of the torch, I was thrilled because that's always been a role that I loved and a, and a, a show that I was always proud of. And the, the idea that they would do it again is a great compliment, but also that they would invite me to, you know, to sort of continue as John Boy, even as a narrative voice. It was it made me really happy. It's very cool. And it'll be nice to see, you know, something all generations can enjoy and kind of, uh, yes. you know, it's it's a different era too. 1933 depression is where the movie is set. And I don't know, how do you, what do you think people can take away from that since things are so different now? Well, I think things are different, but things are the same. You know, that's when, you know, when the show premiered in, in the homecoming premiered in 1971, it was, it was another era from the thirties, but it's the commonality of humanity that makes the show work no matter what uh, period uh, it's, it's aired in, you know, the, there's, there's still the opportunity for generations to be together and learn from each other and for families to find a way to support each other through conflict and hardship and for to be a part of a community at large where people can support each other and and uh, and celebrate their own common humanity. Uh, that that's a story that never grows old. And of course, family is everywhere yeah. <laughs> in one form or another. Yeah, and we've all, you know, within the last year and a half, haven't had a lot of time with our family. So I think that actually will resonate right. with a lot of viewers of the special. Did you have an opportunity to speak with Logan? Logan Troyer will play your character in the movie before the filming. Oh, yes. I've known Logan for, for a few years. He's a terrific young actor. I was very happy that they invited him to play John Boy. And we talked about it. And I just said, well, you know, let, make it yours and have a good time. And he's done that. You know, he's put his own stamp on it and, and, and made it completely his. And it's exactly the way it should be. <clears throat> and I'm very, very pleased with his performance and very proud of him and happy for him. So tell us just a little bit about the storyline uh, for this particular special. Well, you know, it's Christmas time and the Waltons are a big old family living during the middle of the Depression, a time of great hardship in the Blue Ridge Mountains of Virginia. And daddy has had to take a job, you know, 90 miles away and may not get home for Christmas. And there's a big storm coming and he's trying to get back to his family. And the family's trying to make a nice Christmas without the without the dad. And John Boy, who secretly wants to be a writer and an artist, uh, is trying to fill his daddy's footsteps and, you know, shoot and and help his mama hold the family together, but also go out and try to find his father. So it's a time of great anxiety and people trying to find joy in the middle of, of uh, fear. And uh, it's, a, it's a wonderful story. I mean, Earl Hamner wrote a beautiful, beautiful novel, The Homecoming, and uh, it's, it still speaks to me today. Oh, that's good to hear. Well, we're very excited to see it. Now, do you keep in touch with any uh, former cast members, co-hosts, or uh, people that you worked with in the original series? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We're, we're, we're like a family. We're like an extended family. And we were together recently for a screening of it. And, and uh, we, we keep in touch with each other. And, and uh, it's, a, it's a wonderful thing when we all get together. Uh, so, yes, yes. And I, and I hope that this, uh, this cast has, has made a family for themselves as well. That's so cool they, to hear. Yeah, it's great. It, it was all that love that you saw in the original show. That was all real. That's that's how we felt about each other. So with the holidays just around the corner, we've got Thanksgiving coming up as well as Christmas. Do you guys have any special holiday traditions that you celebrate with your family? I just wait all year for my wife's wonderful New Mexican Christmas dinner. It's oh. just, I'm thinking about it right now. And I'm a, I'm a Christmas music fanatic. And I just, I have to force myself to not to start listening to it before Thanksgiving. <laughs> <but the> minute, 
the minute I, the turkey is in my tummy, the Christmas music goes on. So, I love that. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's never too early for holiday music. I figure at least by Halloween, you're good, right? I mean, after uh, I, that. Okay, well, good. thank you for the permission. I'm going to start today. <laughs> okay, good, because I've already started at my house, if that makes you feel any better. <laughs> excellent, excellent. All right, one more quick question. Are we going to get the uh, traditional good night, John Boy, at the end of the movie? Well, yes, of course. Okay. What, 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 how would, we wouldn't be the Waltons if people weren't wishing each other either good night or Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. That works, too. Well, we're very excited to check it out. The Waltons Homecoming on the CW airs November 28th. Thank you so much for being here and you have a wonderful holiday. Thank you, John. I really appreciate it.